Greetings Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet! This is Rendog coming at you from just outside the cactus farms in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode we were making a macerator machine so that we could turn bauxite ore into dust and in this episode we are going to be working on an industrial electrolyzer which is going to be able to turn that bauxite dust into tiny piles of titanium dust which we will then be able to turn into uh, piles of normal titanium dust which we will then be able to smelt down into ingots of titanium that we need to make a quarry. And of course our major goal at the moment guys is to make a quarry machine which is an automatic mining machine and man is it gonna be freaking sweet. Guys what I have decided to do in um, the, you know, in the vein of being as incredibly organized as we can be in this Feed the Beast episode, I've decided to make a little logbook. So why don't we have a look at our logbook. As you can see in the logbook, our current goal is to make a quarry. Now the only thing that we do not have in the cyber labs to make the quarry is a diamond drill. And of course, to make that diamond drill, we need titanium ingots. And to get the titanium ingots, all we need to do is make an industrial electrolyzer. That's what we're gonna do today. That's gonna give us tiny piles of titanium, which we will be able to turn into just piles of titanium dust. Um, and then we will be able to smelt that titanium dust in an industrial furnace, which we'll have to build in, the, in future episodes. And that will give us titanium ingots to build our quarry. So guys, I know that it sounds a little bit complicated, but seriously, man, once you just get organized and once you have your goals set, it all starts to make a lot more sense. Um, before we get to the cyber labs and before we start constructing the industrial electrolyzer, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, a debate that has been going on in the comments section of the previous video when we were building a macerator. A lot of you guys were saying, uh, well, were asking me, what version of Feed the Beast are you using? Now, what do I mean by what version of Feed the Beast? Well, as you guys should know by now, Feed the Beast is a, co a collection of mods for Minecraft, but they are different types of collections. Some of the collections have mods that um, other uh, collections do not have. So for example, we are using the Mindcrack collection um, of Feed the Beast and it has a, a mod pack in it, the collection called Greg Tech. And Greg Tech is what makes these recipes a little bit more complicated. For example, uh, making you require titanium ingots to build a quarry. Now there is another, there are other collections, probably the, the most famous being the Dire Wolf 20 collection pack. And of course, um, that collection pack does not require, does not have Greg Tech in it. And Greg Tech is the mod that just makes everything a little bit more advanced. Now some of you guys were saying, maybe you should be playing the Dire Wolf 20 version of Feed the Beast so that everything is a lot easier to make. But I say, bah humbug to that! Because that is just gonna, you know, that just makes everything a lot easier. And I wanna play this series to be challenged, you know what I'm saying? And I actually really like Greg Tech because Greg Tech really makes everything a little bit more challenging in Feed the Beast. So I'm really happy with playing Greg Tech. And, um, you know, I'm I, like, I really like the fact that I have to do all this work to get titanium ingots because, you know, when you get those titanium ingots, it's just gonna be the most satisfying thing in the freaking world, guys. Okay, so now that that is out of the way and we all know that we are playing Feed the Beast, the Mind Crack Edition, let us get cracking with this episode, guys. We're in the battery room right now and as you can see, I've just done a little bit of rearranging. I've put the macerator over here in the corner and I've turned it around so we can see this window over here. When this window is red, it means that the macerator is a macerating. Right now it is uh, making some lead ore and as you can see in the hopper, we've got some copper ore, um, some silver ore and some iron ore to come. But our macerator is macerating away really nicely. I've also changed a little bit at the back here. As you can see, the, um, the exit pipe now goes down into the cyber dog, uh, the cyber lab's maintenance level down there into a chest. So that's where we collect all our dust for now. Eventually this pipe is gonna head all the way to the storage rooms once that is built. And right over here, guys, I've added a couple more glass fiber um, cables. This is where we're gonna be putting our industrial electrolyzer. Oh man, it is gonna be sweet. So what the jazz is an industrial electrolyzer? That's what I hear you guys saying. Well, um, I've done a little bit of research into exactly what an industrial electrolyzer does. And theoretically, here's all our piles of, um, of dust that we are now gonna be able to smelt down into ingots. Theoretically, what an, uh, an electrolyzer does is it takes one of these piles of dust, right? Now, now let's go back, let's go come into the real world, right? So now imagine you have this pile of tin dust. Not 
all of this dust is going to be tin. There's going to be other elements in this pile. And what the electrolyzer does, it is capable of separating those elements from the main element of the dust. So what we are using the electrolyzer for is separating titanium out of bauxite dust, right? So let's head over to our ore chest here. I mean, uh, hang on. I put the bauxite dust in the project chest over here. Um, so let's head over here to pick to collect our bauxite dust. So here we've got 27 bauxite ores, right? So what we need to do is grind this ore down into dust. So let's get that into the macerator. Now, what happens is that this macerator is going to turn this bauxite ore into bauxite dust, as you can see, and the electrolyzer is going to take those piles of bauxite dust and separate the elements within those piles into um, a whole bunch of different elements. And one of the, the important separations is uh, tiny piles of titanium dust. And that is what we're after because we need to make ourselves some titanium. So I've picked up all of this dust, so we might as well get smelting away while we start working on the industrial electrolyzer. Let's get the furnace room a blazing, baby. Oh, man. Ooh, it looks like we're missing a panel over here, aren't we? Um, that is not looking sweet, man. What the jazz? All right, let's see, if, let's see if we've got a panel in here just to fix that up a bit. I think we use marble panels over here, right? Let's check. Bam! Okay, sweet. There we go. That looks much better. Uh, man, OCD was kicking in. All right, guys. So today our goal is to make an industrial electrolyzer to be able to separate titanium out of bauxite dust. So here in the project table, we've got everything that we need to make this industrial electrolyzer. Now, let's have a look at the recipe. It looks really complicated. It's like, bam, wow, that is really complicated. But actually, when you just take a step back and have a look, it's actually not too bad. What we've got to do is make three machines, which are all really basic machines to make. And all we need is some refined urn and a couple of advanced circuits. So all we've got to do is start from the bottom. Let's build the magnetizer first. Let's have a look. So all that needs is some iron fences, a machine block, and some redstone. So that is, I mean, that is a really basic um, recipe right there so we've got everything that we need there's our machine block here's our iron fences redstone along the sides bam magnetizer done let's go back to our industrial electrolyzer recipe the next machine in the industrial electrolyzer is the the tear down electrolyzer so let's have a look what an electrolyzer requires again really simple just an electric circuit four copper wires, two empty cells, and a machine block. We've made all of this stuff in the previous episodes, so we should have no problem remembering how this works. There's our electric circuit right there, and then let's just get a couple of these um, copper cables in there, and bam, our electrolyzer is made. Excellent. So we've got an, our, our electrolyzer. We've got our magnetizer. All we've got to do now is make our final machine, the extractor. For that, we need an, an, another electric circuit. All right, guys, we are back and I have just completed another electrical circuit and we are just working on our extractor again. A really basic um, recipe over here. All we need is our machine block, the electric circuit to power the machine, and then the tree taps on either side of these things. And bam, we've got an, our, our extractor. So we've got the three machines that we need for the industrial electrolyzer. Let's get them into the, the crafting table. Now all we got to do is put some refined urn over here and then our two advanced electrical circuits on the side and bam, we have an industrial electrolyzer in the belly, people. Look at that, our first super advanced machine in this Feed the Bee series. Absolutely awesome. Now guys, let's talk about the power requirements of this industrial electrolyzer. Unlike the macerator, which requires 32 units of energy or of power to work, this industrial electrolyzer requires 128 units of energy and that is why we don't have a low voltage transformer coming from um, the, e, the the mfe battery unit we can literally just install our um, industrial electrolyzer into um, this mfe directly so this mfe is going to be giving <laughs> our industrial electrolyzer 128 eus of energy and it is a constant output i do believe as you can see the mfe is already being drained by this industrial electrolyzer so guys what is the next step we've got our first advanced machine installed in the cyber labs and what we need to do now is get some bauxite dust which is going to go over here and then the other um, piece of the recipe you can see the actual shape there is an empty cell so that's really easy to make um, you know that's all, all we need is to, is some tin to make the empty cells and the bauxite dust 
And of course, we've just macerated a whole bunch of bauxite dust. So let's head down to this chest over here. We've got a pile of 64 bauxite dust, which is probably more than enough. Um, and let's head over to the project table where we've got some tin. And uh, we're just going to put together some tin cells. So let's have a look. I believe the recipe is just like this. And you can see we can make a ton of tin cells. Let's just make 20 tin cells. Um, or as many as we can 24 tin cells let's head back to the industrial electrolyzer guys we're about to fire this puppy up for the first time man i hope you guys are excited i think what we need to do is actually get squidward running again because i think this industrial electrolyzer is going to start sucking up some serious juice from um, our power system so squidward is sucking up some lava from um, the tank below and we are now ready to put this industrial electrolyzer to the test our mfe is ready to go you can see it's actually draining power it's now going to be running a macerator and an industrial electrolyzer so let's hope that this mfe is going to be able to do its job so industrial electrolyzer guys we are about to make some tiny piles of titanium baby let's get it in there man bauxite dust goes in there empty cells go in there oh my goodness so it actually it looks like it took uh eight cells to make to make one cycle right so it looks like oh my goodness how much bauxite dust did it use there so it used um eight it used 12 bauxite dust and eight empty cells to do one cycle so what we definitely need more of is tin um it's basically tin we need way more empty cells looks like we have enough bauxite dust but we definitely need need some more tin so let's just check on the mfe let's make sure oh the power is going down oh my goodness look at that man this thing requires ridiculous amounts of energy so this means guys we're gonna have to build some we're gonna have to build some brothers for squidward i think gonna have to put a brother over there and a sister over there get some more power going into this mfe because this thing is a power hungry beast um damn i think what we probably should do also is get back to the mining pump below and actually start pumping a little bit more um just going to take a lever from this <laughs> this pile over here let's go and um turn on the mining pump again because as you can see this reservoir is almost finished so um let's get up here bam nice and on this side oh my goodness we don't actually have okay we can we can climb up some pipes <laughs> sweet what i should try and do is always bring scaffolding man um so those two are working and now we just got to get these two working let's pump some more lava into the butthole of squidward and that's going to mean that that geothermal generator this geothermal generator over here is going to always be filled up with lava because that mfe is one hungry hippo man that thing is sucking up my energy like nobody's business let's get back to the industrial electrolyzer guys we should have some results it should have finished one of the cycles by now and there we go look at that guys so we've got aluminium dust a tiny pile of titanium dust this is what we're after guys uh, a, a hydrogen cell and a compressed air cell so let's not worry about these cells yet let's look at the tiny pile of titanium dust so four tiny piles of titanium dust are going to be able to make one normal pile of titanium dust and that is exactly what we need so while this cycle continues let's just have wow our mfe is getting drained big time let's quickly put together um uh an exit route for the the materials that this industrial electrolyzer is making so we're just going to literally do it the same way that we did with the macerator wooden pipe a um, couple of cobblestone pipes just like this and what we, what we actually need now is an iron pipe, guys. Remember, because we need to, to direct the flow of materials out of these machines. So let's get an iron transport pipe in the belly. And let's just make sure that, that all these pipes are facing the right way. And I think the iron pipe is going to go over here. So that the, what comes out of the macerator isn't going to go into the um the electric the electric the industrial electrolyzer and vice versa this is a very delicate machine over here man we don't want any of the dust of this macerator going into the butthole of, of the industrial electrolyzer that could equal serious problems you know what i'm saying people um and i've got a redstone engine right here that we can connect to this wooden pipe and all we got to do now is power this bad boy that means we need a little piece of marble we've got the lever ready to go uh, where's the marble there we go and we're about to, to turn on the the, the, <laughs> the butthole suction, I guess you could call it, of the industrial electrolyzer. Where is my lever? Let's see if this actually works. Bam! 
so this should start sucking out these materials yes there we go excellent so the, the materials are now going to be sucked out of the industrial electrolyzer i'm going to actually just manually take the tiny pile of titanium dust and um let's also quickly pop back to the storage rooms and get some covers ocd is kicking in man we need to make make these um this battery room look as sweet as possible and cover up its shame which is this this redstone engine over here there we go so that's looking fan freaking tastic so guys tiny pile of titanium dust check it out right we can put four together to make one pile of titanium dust and this titanium dust is going to be smeltable in an industrial furnace so an industrial furnace is our next goal in this series damn that is going to be awesome and i don't even know what it takes to make an industrial furnace but um it is going to take a lot <laughs> and it is going to be sweet but guys we're going to end the episode here we are now industrially electrolyzing and it is epic i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and thanks so much to everybody who's been watching this series and giving me such great feedback guys remember there is way more feed the beast to come so if you haven't subscribed yet you better freaking subscribe or this pile of titanium dust or this red ruby pickaxe is going up your butthole bastards <laughs> guys this has been rain dog playing minecraft feed the beast mind crack version and we will see you in the next episode my friends goodbye